Hello dear fans. Geological History of the Czechlands Based on modern geomorphological studies, it is possible to quite accurately trace the geological history of the Czech Republic and adjacent Moravia from their very inception, that is, from the formation of the Earth's crust. Where the Czech Republic is located today, rocks have accumulated in ancient times, from which, over millions of years, nature, as a magnificent artist, created the Czech mountains and plains. You can also trace further changes that were made in this array. At great depths, under the constant pressure of neighboring massifs and under the influence of high temperatures, as well as under the influence of thermal waters, crystallization of various substances occurred until shale was formed from them, which, due to mountain building processes, appeared on the surface, shale is a rock typical of the Czech mountain ranges. As a result of further volcanic activity, granite massifs were formed, no less typical for the country's landscape. Thus, according to very rough calculations of geologists, more than a billion years ago, the beginning of the formation of the surface of the Earth's crust was laid, part of which became the territory of the Czech Republic. In the future, nature had to create from this material those wonderful forms of the Earth's surface, which only one could create and which are so characteristic of the Czech territory. The process of the formation of the modern relief of the country began in time immemorial, already in the most ancient era of the primary formation of mountains, Paleozoic era, in the so-called Cambrian period. Even then, as a result of continuous volcanic activity in the Czech Republic, a mountain range was formed, which then for millions of years remained the main arena for the manifestation of the creative forces of nature. This ridge, modern BRDY, the oldest mountain range in the Czech Republic stretched from the center of the country to the west and southwest. The bowels of this mountain range contain rich deposits of minerals, of the greatest importance for the further economic development of the Czech Republic were the iron ores in the Krivoklatskorokitsyn and silver ores in the Przybram zone. Already hundreds of millions of years ago, these mineral wealth began to be deposited in the Czech Republic, which further contributed to the growth of the country's prosperity which continues to this day. Life appeared here, at first, barely noticeable, and the first signs of life must be attributed to the same Cambrian period. When there was a comparative lull during the Cambrian period, a shallow sea formed on the site of the present Czech Plateau, which was relatively shallow at the comparative height of the Czech Plateau. At the bottom of the sea, sediments characteristic of modern Czech lands began to settle, clays, sands, and limestones. It was especially important that the sea brought here the first organisms, the first living beings. It was the marine fauna of the simplest, primary crustaceans, trilobites. There were still no signs of life on land at that time. But the appearance of this fauna was also the greatest milestone, the greatest event in the history of the Czech land. The first living organisms appeared on the territory of what is now the Czech Republic. The sea disappeared from this territory but life never stopped again in the Czech lands. The fauna continued to develop after the shallowing of the sea. New species of animals appeared, cephalopods, slugs, later, armor fish, corals. The appearance of the first plants dates back to the same time, the simplest flora develops. This is how a very peculiar animal world arose, which, in combination with the peculiarities of the geological development of the Czech Republic, received its own name, Czech Silurian. The Czech Silurian has gained worldwide fame for its extraordinary wealth of forms and species, as well as for the fact that it presents a picture of the continuous development of the same area over a hundred million years. In the Devonian period, Moravia also developed a geologically rich area stretching from Brunel through Olomouc and Prerov to Hranice and Opavsko, with an abundance of fossil fauna no less than in the Czech Republic. The remarkable limestone deposits of the Devonian period in Moravia have gained worldwide fame. In the Moravian karst, in the famous Slupsk and in other caves, there are stalactites of the same time, of absolutely fantastic beauty, of the most varied sizes, shapes, colors, and combinations a true miracle of the artistic creation of nature that cause astonishment all over the world. In a later period, these caves served as the first, rare in those days, refuge for the primitive who appeared on the territory of the Czech Republic. These riches, mineral deposits in the Czech lands, were created in very distant times, at a distance of about 500 to 300 million years from us. 
This ended the first relatively calm period in the geological history of Bohemia and Moravia. Already at the end of the Devonian and further, in the Carboniferous period, the next stage in the history of our land begins. It was a period of new disasters. Thanks for watching.